Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. So let's see if it's loading up here. It says I've gone live on my thing. I just got to get it to load up. Oh, turn your sound down. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to just help a few folks get in. And you can say hello to everyone, Bill. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Turn sounds off. Okay. How's everyone doing tonight? Are people saying hi? Getting there. That's what you need. Okay. Great. Let's see if I can. Okay. Madison's on. Laura's on. Beth Ann, yay! From Philadelphia. Brina. Uh, Ann, hi. Um, Jean. Oh, you got. Beth Ann said hi to you. To me? Yeah, she said hi, Bill. Hi. Here. <laughs> Kristen Tatum. Jamie Campbell, woo! Marilyn Miller Edens. Okay, I'm seeing people come on now. Great. Thank you for sharing. Tammy Wonder, there's somebody, a new name I don't know. Awesome. <gasps> Mrs. Beckett is on! Yay! Kristen Lafrito Wenzel, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so tonight we are going to be doing some... I just saw an angry face. I wonder why. Hi, Nancy. Um, we're going to be working with shimmer paints tonight. And that's um, the projects that I'm going to be focusing on. And I'm going to be using one project with the frost white and showing you how to do that. And one project with the bright copper. So they are awesome we had these years ago hi Marsha um, and I'm I was so glad to see him come back in for the holiday but I was really excited to see this bright copper because I'm on this copper kick and um, did Karen Jones make it in I don't know okay so uh, where do we want to start Bill and you need to talk oh, we up need a roll. we need to do a drum roll drum roll what are we doing a drum roll for drawing for something are we gonna draw we're gonna do a we're gonna do a lot of drawings tonight we're gonna do one in each section so i've got everybody's names in here and i'm gonna shake them all up and mix them around okay mr bill you want to draw our first name so uh, mix them around laura land okay laura land what did laura win uh looks like a pack of cards a pack of card no bill it's a pack of different colored of um glitter paper glimmer paper that's right okay so this one is for miss laura land yay Very thank you laura for sharing she might even be i don't know no, if she's Mr. on <laughs> if she's on tonight i know she wasn't feeling too well so she's like oh no mr <laughs> who joy Yay, Joy made it. Okay, everyone, so we're in the beginning of a new month. Do you know what that means? Does anyone know what it means? It is September 5th. Remember, I've had this on here for how long? Like a month now? And a little clip, so I wouldn't open it up. But guess what? We get to open it up today. And it is wonderful. It is jam-packed with some of the cutest um, holiday items and um, and when I say cute I mean cute and like believe you me I have like a Halloween like downpour don't I this year mm -hmm. I've got all kinds of treats and stuff today for the see all the neat stuff she's been making well and who's been giving me all kinds of tasks to make stuff well, you put a list make me a list I'll make you a list <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I guess I get a honeydew list too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tonight we're going to be using this awesome, awesome set. And um, I have a million ways in my head I want to use this set. But because I, Beth Ann, I think, is the one who has been saying, how do you use shimmer paints? How do you use shimmer paints? So this is going to be where we start tonight is with shimmer paints. Well, we're going to use it at, on both things, but we're going to be using it on a fall. So, okay. Um, please remember to share my video. That's how you get into my drawings. And um, I'm starting to do more than one at this point. There is a promotion this um, month for the month of September for a limited time get a free designer series paper pack and these are usually um, 11 to 13 dollars if you've bought any of our designer series paper when you have 200 in sales so if you want to um, host a workshop for example and you've got 250 in sales then you will get this automatically added to your order and you can also be a part of your own uh, workshop if you want to have a book party I'm fine with that whatever works for you um, or if you just have an extremely large order that you'd like to place this is what they're offering this month so you can see how they've used the paper on here on my printout pretty awesome okay so let's get on to card making did Laura ever make it on yet oh, yeah, yeah. yeah she's on. okay did she know that she won yep. oh yay great I didn't know so tonight I'm going to show you the card first and I'm gonna stand up here so you can see the shimmer on this can you guys see that Bill can it is it being seen okay well we'll give it a second to catch up let me know when it gets there yeah it's there so you can see the shimmer on these leaves that I cut out. Okay, yep. awesome sauce. So I have my little. Yay! Okay. okay. Hi, Kristen. Kristen Wenzel or Kristen Lafrito Wenzel? Which one? Kristen Wenzel. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Kristen. There's so many Kristens in my life these days. Okay, so. That set that I was showing you, Falling for Leaves, is right here. And, um, okay, so all the Christians are here. So it comes with a matching die set. So it's a, it's a photopolymer set, and I wanted to show you this. And then it comes with a matching die set. And today, um, mostly for time's sake, I go ahead and run things through the dies. As you can see, I haven't even clipped out all the pieces yet. But um, we're using this big maple leaf. I'm not sure what this is, and I'm not sure what this is either, so I made it up. But this card is actually very easy, so let's get moving on it. We're going to take a mossy meadow piece of cardstock for our base and fold it in half so that it's four and a quarter at the fold. And then this is a part of the Country Lane Desi Designer Series paper. And look at this. I've showed this before on a live because I had used like the really busy, like this paper and no, I don't know which other one. Oh, this one, which was very busy on a couple of mine. But this one has like a wood print. It's really cool because our papers are two-sided. So, but I wanted to just do something rustic so that you could see the um, copper shimmer paint. So I cut that at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this right on to my card base. Any questions, Bill? Not yet. Anybody saying anything? Mm, they've shared it. Conversations back and forth. They're saying your cards are beautiful. Aww. Anything from Miss Joy? She's really liking this. She's this card that you're making. She's my peanut gallery here. My comic relief. So... Joy, did you get your cards yet? 
because this is the same designer series paper. You'll have to let me know if she got them. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to pull out. Now, I want to sh I want to show you a couple of things. So first of all, this is crushed curry. Hi, Janet. This is um, Cajun Craze. But I didn't do Mossy Meadow because I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. And Mossy Meadow is a neutral and it's kind of dark. So this is Old Olive. That's the only, and it, you can't really tell on the card. I mean, you didn't notice, right? But um, I think it stands out a little bit more. So remember this promotion going on last month? This is my scrap paper this month. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put these on in my scrap paper because I don't want to get the mist all over. Now there are a couple of ways to use um, the shimmer paints. First of all, it does have a little ball in it so you can mix it up. Second of all, it must have been five years ago when they had this shimmer paint out. I still have this left over. The stuff like if you use it um, the way I'm going to show you, it lasts and lasts and lasts. So I, it's the exact same stuff that they had, but I still have it and it's still good. Let me show you the shimmer in the shimmer paint. Because I think it is, let's see if I can get some to kind of bubble up around the... Speaking of bubbles. Oh yeah, you want to tell them about that? Okay, I'll tell you what, in between the, this card and the next one. I don't know if you could see that shimmer or not. Let's see if this one's got... It doesn't. It's hard to see. It is paint. Can you see it running around in there? And um, so you can... There's several different ways you can use this. Now, I've seen some people use it where they actually took a paintbrush and painted it. That's okay. It's paint. Um, you can use a sponge and dab it on which and if you kind of like splotch it up it kind of gives it like a mother of pearl look to your projects or you can um use like a brayer like kind of roll it around on on a protective surface and get your brayer kind of all up and it gives kind of a light coat to it but my favorite way <coughs> excuse me my favorite way and the way that I pretty much always use and that's why I always have so much of this is right here. I use our um, our spritzers, our little sprayers. Now you get two of these for three dollars. I think that is so worth it for what you can you can't buy um, bottles that are small enough in my opinion. And what I do is I fill them with alcohol and um, I don't fill it all the way up. If you fill it all, the more you fill it with alcohol, the more diluted it's going to be. The less you fill it with alcohol, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take a drink. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I had a procedure done <clears throat> last week. So my voice sometimes will come and go, but um, the more you fill it up with alcohol, the more diluted the frost is going to be or the shimmer and the less, the more shimmer you're going to get. So you can see I have a little bit less in here and I've used this and all you do is you shake them up before you use them. And then I don't know if that will show or not. Okay. So let me show you on the bronze cause that will show. So when I shake it up, See, it had settled, and now it's all bronzy. Can you see that? Bill? Okay. I need you to act, <laughs> see uh, what they're seeing. Up, okay. So, you know, it was all settled down at the bottom, but you shake it up before you use it. So now, because I'm doing um, this fall one, now I do want to point out this frost white is so pretty on snowflakes and Christmas scenes. Just saying, it's I'm not... One part alcohol to one part paint? N you know what I do? I don't have a measurement to it, so um, good question. But I know that I want it to be, um, like I want this to be fairly heavy. So I just put 
I don't know, that much in of alcohol. And I put three big globs, and I'm not talking like a drop. I open this up, and like I glob it. Globs are a new measurement, huh? Globs are a measurement, yes, in the world of Pammy. So, <laughs> you little smart aleck, you're getting to be like Joy. <laughs> and so, like, I don't know if you can see that. Like, it, it'll come out pretty darn quick. I just put three big globs. And... Oh, shoot, I just stuck that in there instead of here. Did you see what I just did? No. I stuck it into the paint instead of the uh -oh. thing. Okay, it's okay. So shake it up. And this is my favorite way. So what I do is I protect my surface. Anyone laughing at me? Okay. And take this off. So this is why I use... A piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna try to kind of put it up by the rim there because sometimes these things will take off flying on you but by the rim does that make sense you know what I mean uh, Joy's saying that she read someplace that they add some water to the alcohol I'm not sure why I never do because alcohol dries quicker that's one of the reasons why I use it water will saturate your paper so then I just start squirting until it gets to the desired amount and that is very desired amount right there and then this is going to be loud guys but my trick is use your heat tool to dry that quicker so you can work with it Okay, so I can throw away. This is why I save my scrap paper all the time. And I think it might show up better on this. I don't know, I can see the glitter showing it right now. Can you? Yeah. Well, let me pull this up. So I took that, that piece of, um, what's nice about this is that we have, we do have uh, glimmer paper. This is not quite as glimmery, but you can do this in any color. You know, so you can make it any color. Hi, Donna. Um, let me show you. So can you just store in the spritzer and use whenever? Won't it gunk up? No, Joy. Um, I've not had mine. Um, you know, I'll probably use this up, as you can see how much I used already just in this little project. I mean, I, that's another reason why I don't fill it all the way up. But, you know, then rinse it out. Um, regularly so there we go you can kind of see it and I really do did like for the fall this um, um, copper color because I've been using a lot of the copper thread the copper paper so I'm gonna let this just kind of finish drying here and I'm gonna go on to the next step um, I have a half inch by a four inches for the sentiment and it was <clears throat> Harvest of Thanks. you got to keep me going for some of these. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. Is it catching up? Yeah, everybody's, you're, we're right where you're at. Okay, great. So I'm just going to ink this up in the mossy meadow. And I more or less picked kind of an easy project with this, oh, I can't tell if I'm in there or not. I'm scared I'm gonna hit the camera. I think that's right. We'll see. Eh, not too bad, actually. Joyce is wondering if the glimmer paint will re replace the wink of Stella. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Completely different things. <laughs> um. I don't think that will happen. I really don't. This is 
you can do a heavier coverage than Winkostella, a Winkostella, and see these are just almost completely dry now because I used the alcohol and I did a little, oh, I don't know if that shows very well. Oh, they're showing. Oh, good. Okay, so let's bring in our card base and determine where we want these. And each one of these can be a little bit different. They don't have to be the exact same. Um, I think I like that gold maybe more on top of the green. So all I did with this is I didn't... I didn't want to like glue this whole thing down, so I used um, glue dots but I want to have it kind of covered up. So we'll do that one there because it's stuck. <laughs> Guess that's where that one's going. Uh, shimmer paint, is it just two colors? Is the question being asked? Um, no, I think they have like a champagne color. Well, let me look. Let me get out that catalog and take a peek. I think there's like four colors out right now of the shimmer paints. And... I should have had this already lined up. Yes, I am right. So they have gold. They have, let me fold this in half. They have the bright copper that I'm using tonight right now. They have a champagne mist, which um, it doesn't look gold. It doesn't look silver. It's kind of in between. They have the white frost, which I'll be using next, and then the Vegas gold, which is kind of a really bright yellow gold. So there's four of them right now. They're eight dollars, and that's page thirty-eight. And um, it says it's a half fluid ounce. So thank you for catching that. <clears throat> So let's keep building our card. Back to building. <laughs> Back to building. Yeah, really. I think I'm going to hook this one up just a little higher on here. And stick it down. So I purposely wanted these to be kind of sticking up. That's why I did that. And then we're going to grab some dimensionals. And I just did this at four inches so that I'd still have that mossy meadow showing out the um, the side of the card. And I'm going to do one more because I'm on to overkill. just going to kind of line this up over my leaves. I love these little funky leaves. And then on this one, I used um, a little piece and I didn't want to use like our twine. Oh, look at this. I have this one ready to go. But I used our, our nature's twine. I didn't want to use um, our linen thread is what I meant because I didn't think you would see it. Now look at this. What do we think? Do we like this? One of the questions asked is uh, why do you always use a small border? Why do I? Mm -hmm. I don't always. Um, I just chose to in this card. Um, but actually, my favorite one has got a, a thicker edge to it. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Or did it, I mean, well, I, I like, I mean, it all comes down to personal preference. So, you know, I kind of like this. I think it's a little brighter than the original, so I might just go with it. I, sometimes I do stuff for projects and then I have it left over. And, and Jenna's saying she can't wait till uh, get hers on this weekend. By this weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, now you'll know how to do it. Unless you've done this before. Hi, Trina. Do you really think Bill's watching Bill? No, he's probably a football practice. You know what? Actually, when I look at this, this would have been pretty too, the... The um, Blackberry Bliss. Couldn't get the name out. 
Okay, so that's the first card. And I love that shimmer so much. So, okay, that's the first one. Now the other one you guys have already seen if you have been following me. Now, should we do another drawing? Sure. Okay. Drawing. Drum roll. Drawing. Okay. Let me get it here. Bill. Let me reach in there. Oh, look at that. I drew my own name. Let's do that again. I can't he drew that. his own name. That doesn't count. Okay, let's try again. Drawing. Tanya Gilmore. Tanya Gilmore. Okay, there's someone we haven't had win before. Tanya, you won the second drawing tonight. And let's see, what did I have there for the second drawing, Bill? Um, envelope or something. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know Hi, what? Jerry Lynn. Hi, Jerry Lynn. You know what? This is um, a couple of cards that I have made. Actually, this one was my Quickadilly on Monday that I made, and I, I do ra rather like it quite a bit. So, okay, so I will just need your address, Tanya, and I will get these out to you. Okay, so let's go on to the next card. Any questions? Nope. Anybody? Okay. Okay, so Laura and Tanya, okay, we'll do another drawing. Um, at the end, you remind me we'll so we don't forget. Okay, so <clears throat> Kathy Walton, first time watching the new style of cards. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Um, thanks for joining us. Okay, I um, yesterday I put out this. I'm in a group. Um, it's Casing Tuesday, and we case a card from the catalog uh, each week, and. Um, so this one was to this we're doing right now we're doing the holiday catalog and i don't know what page it's on i wonder if i can look really quick we take a card and we just use other stamp sets other colors um i wonder where that is the catalog's not that big i can take a minute and show you so casing stands for copy and share everything, which we are firm believers. Anything that you see that I make, you can copy it. You don't even have to ask me. Um, I actually find it to be quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Bill? Quite, um, not rewarding. Um, flattering. flattering, that's it. Okay, so here was what someone had picked from our group of a card to case. And this is what I came up with. So I happen to have this Buffalo Check stamp, and I thought I'm going to use that. I just used a different stamp set, different colors, and here's the card that I cased. So I post this on yesterday to the group, but what it was very hard to photograph, and you guys probably couldn't see, was the shimmer. So I'm going to stand up. It's... Now, you let me know when you can see it. It's very hard to see, to photograph that shimmer. Does it come through, Bill? Getting there. Enjoy the getter cards. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. Can you guys see that? Listen, okay, if you can't... If you can't see it, just you you must trust me, this is absolutely stunning. Well, and I love watercoloring, so this is what we're gonna make. I'm gonna get my box out. I use three colors. Who did? Beth Ann? Oh good. She's the one who really oh, wanted to see it. She wow, she's got great vision. <laughs> so I'm using um gorgeous grape, granny apple green, and uh Mango Melody for my colors in this one. Madison's on. Yay! Hi, Madison. And let me get the rest of the stuff out of my project box. This is that brand new Buffalo Check um, that's in the new catalog. And I am a huge background stamper. 
I love this. I've used this. Well, actually, in the card that Tanya won, I used it in there, too. So you can do it in any color, and I think it looks great in any color, even neutral. So Buffalo Check. And then this one we had already in our catalog, and it's called Beautiful Day. And the image that I'm going to be using is this great big flower. And we're going to use the Stamparatus for this. So um, before I begin everything, I do want to let people know there's two extremely heavy-duty magnets that come with this. They can be stored on the back. I stick mine with duct tape because these things are pretty heavy-duty, and um, I have a hard time with washi tape. Washi tape rips for me, so I use the, the duct tape. Um, I also have set off to the side, and I've done videos on this before. Ooh, I got that cord in the way. I've had people ask me why I put this here. This puts, this is just a post-it note. It puts just enough of a lip that when I put my paper in, I can line it up perfectly. And my chosen, and you guys are gonna have to excuse me just a second, I have to adjust this cord or my stamparatus is gonna be, so if this is jiggling, I'm sorry. Not bad? Okay, good. Um. So, well, let me just show you the paper here. I'm going to be using a piece of three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now, this is the watercolor paper because I am going to be watercoloring. And everyone says, is there a top side and a, and a back side? Yes and no. You can use either side. I try to pick the smoothest side for my use. Now, if you stamp up here, the Stamparatus, it's it's a tool, and so it, it the um, hinges are like, what, I don't know, half inch off, and you don't always seem to get as good of an image as you do as when you stamp out here. So for me, I have found that if I just put my paper, I line it up with the grid here, and I lay my magnets, some people say not to use two. I'm a firm believer in two. That way I can get, I'm going to go at an angle, I think, here. Line it up again. There we go. So I can put this on my paper the way I want it to be. Okay, then I take the hinge. Looks like this had a... Okay, because I'm doing watercolors, I definitely do not want to use the memento. That will run, and you see me use the memento mostly. I'm going to be using the stays on jet black. I've had a lot of people, when I posted this on different websites, ask me if I um, used ink or if I uh, heat embossed it. And, you know, you can heat emboss. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, and a lot of times I do like to do that, but I didn't want that shiny look left over on my flower. So I'm going to ink this up really well, and I'm going to stand up because... For me, the reason why I love this Stamparatus is because I know that this is not a, not going to ink up perfect the first time, but it's going to go right back into that position. How's my voice doing? Mm -hmm. good. Okay, so I want more in here and there. So I'm going to ink it up again. Oh, I see where I'm missing it right there. I want to give it time, that ink, to transfer. My throat's getting scratchy. Tip 
took a tube down my throat this week and left it kind of raw. Okay, that's good enough for me. So that's how that's a little tip on how the stamparatus works. Now <clears throat> I am gonna this is one of the places where some of the people have been cutting the chamois in half because then it's easier to clean up. But because this was stays on, I'm probably gonna have to take stays on cleaner to it. I've also had people ask me if I use stays on on my chamois. I do. It still works for me. Okay, we're gonna take this off and now I'm gonna show you the water coloring part. This aside. <laughs> Bill is up here on his haunches looking at me. <laughs> okay, you're gonna want. I had never seen this thing for ads being used. Oh, you haven't? No. Okay. Not in real life. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, so here's my image on my card, and I'm I always have like a rag or um this is my you can see I was doing some watercoloring, a paper towel, and an aqua painter. And an aqua painter is very easy. It's a little paintbrush that you fill with water. It just unscrews and you fill just with water. Who? Mara. Oh, Mara? Mara. Yep. Hi, Mara. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm just squeezing my stamp pad together to get the ink on the top. Like so. So we're going to open that up and the granny apple green hey we have been getting I know some of you from are not from the Midwest here but we have been getting a lot of rain and our backyard started to bubble up oops I need a little bit more here um, and Bill went out there and he said there was a huge hump is it, how big was it what like size is he <laughs> well, they don't know how big our dog is. <laughs> About a chihuahua. And he couldn't figure out what was going on. So he decided to poke at it and um, it bubbled up, right? Yeah. So he opened it up and it let the water out. So the downspouts from our house go under um, the ground and out into the yard. And it's now, it was like flooding so much that. Well, we got eight inches of rain in five days. Yeah, we did. We had a serious lot of rain. I think we were supposed to, our river was supposed to crest by tonight, wasn't it? I don't know. There's a lot of water out there. Okay. So I'm going to start off and I get it wet, but I don't want it sopping wet. And make sure that this is dried up. Yeah. Okay. So just going to take some of this granny apple green and I need a scrap piece because I always am a tester. So we'll just get this over here. And I'll do Kirsten Tana wants to know if you leave your water in all the time or do you drain your aqua painters? I leave it in, but I use it. I mean, so for me, it's not like I pick this up once in a while. I use mine quite a bit. I use these for even the watercolor pencils and stuff. Now everyone has a different style. Um, I like to watercolor and not necessarily color the whole thing in like this, you know. I like it to have a little bit of variance. So what I do is I zigzag and jiggle. This is my idea of watercoloring. Zigzag and jiggle. Yep. And I purposely leave spots. Okay, when you're done with the aqua painter then, with one color, just clean her off. Yep, clean her off. And then we go into the next color. Now, on this, this is a little bit greater, so I'm going to have a little more. I'm going to put a little more water in here because I got purple is a um, bold color. So I always start off with the inside because I want that to be the darkest because I always think that the inner, inside of the flower is the darkest. I have no idea if that's true or not, but 
and I do circles and zigs and zags and as you can see it is not perfect but as I go out farther the color I'm dragging out and it's getting lighter go back in and I'm gonna zig and zag happy trees <laughs> You could say that louder so they know. <laughs> so my husband's over here pretending like I'm Bob Ross or something. You're funny. You know that. Okay. So it gets lighter going out. And this does take a little time to kind of learn your what you like I definitely like kind of a layering yeah, of color degrees she was just thinking of Bob Ross was she mm -hmm. <laughs> she's got a Bob Ross bobblehead <laughs> <laughs> Beth Ann happy little trees that's right Beth Ann <laughs> okay so I've kind of got a little bit of color all over and it's not even now I'm going to go in and get a little bit darker and kind of go in here and I want to feather this out. What are you giggling about? <laughs> Joy. Joy says, poor Rose needs a friend in Bob's world. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, we think of you quite often, to be quite honest. <laughs> If it goes wrong, it's Joy's fault. And so I'm going to add some deeper, darker tones right in here. And then I'm going to fan some of this out. So I'm, I'm kind of building layer upon layer. I don't know if they can see that very well. It's showing up. Is it? Okay. Yeah. And some of these parts that are wetter, I might need to add a little bit more. I just keep starting in the, the center and building out. And I don't mind that it's squiggly. I mean, I actually kind of like it. So everybody's a little, as you can see, I did it on this one and everyone's taste is a little bit different so you do what works for you but well, look in nature flowers aren't the same that's right though okay she, she's saying it's showing up good on the video is it good I want he's on hi monk okay I've had quite a few people asking why I call somebody monkey well it's a long story, but when I was a little girl, I stole her monkey, and um, we were both young, and so ever since then, I've called her my monkey sis. We're just very good family friends that have just become family over the years, and actually, when I was in the hospital last week, she gave me a little monkey. Isn't it cute? So I keep it right here in my stamp area, so that's why I call her monk. Okay, so I'm going to let that, well, I should probably go on to the next color. I used Mango Melody. I did not think I was going to like this color. I thought it was a strange color. Trust me, I love it. And I, because I think it gives a bold pop in the center. And that's all I did. I think it's fun with that grape. Any comments, any questions from anyone? It is precious. So is my monk. She's precious to me very much. So. He <clears throat> matches the rose. <laughs> she was a young girl, and he, she shared her dad with me and her grandma with me, and that was awesome. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Any questions on aqua painting? How I do it? Why I do it? Anything? Nothing yet. Nothing. Okay. So here's my finished piece. Now I'm going to get a new piece of scrap paper because as before, as I showed you before, 
I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to do it with the mister, and that way I can have time for this to dry before it gets on my project. So this time, though, instead of using the copper, I'm going to be using the frost white. Now what I did on this one is I put a lot less alcohol in, and I did the three big globs, because I want this to shimmer the whole project, not just the flower. So shake it up. Take the lid off. And then, now this, because it's watercolor paper, it's going to, oh, I wish you could see this like I can see this. This gets me really excited. Uh, let me see if I can, it can handle a lot more. Can you guys see that? Is that better? It hasn't caught up yet with it. Oh, okay. I just... Oh, I get oh, so... Yeah. You can see it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let that now. You can see it's the watercolor paper, and it's bowed just a little bit, but it'll start to go down. I'm going to let that sit off while we go and make the rest of the card. Okay. So I have a card base. I'm going to fold in half and now to get that background with the buffalo check I'm going to show you what I do also so this is a big stamp and when I use a big stamp like this um, we do have a block if you if you prefer that but I prefer to take my ink to the stamp and take my paper to the stamp. I'll explain as I do it. Let me get out some scrap paper here. I go through abundance of scrap paper so if you know any building that has a bunch of scrap paper that they're wanting to get rid of I'll take it. Alright so I'm going to use the Gorgeous Grape on the Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to ink it up. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I hear people like, oh, it doesn't stamp well. It's a hand stamped item, it's handmade. So, Perfection is, it's not like it's um, a store-bought item where they have everything go through and it's perfect. So keep that in mind when you're making your projects. Now the way I like to do it is I like to set the cardstock right down on the inked image. Oh shoot, I moved it. I hope I didn't totally ruin that, but we'll find out. And then I just use a block and I kind of go over. And if this is screwed up, we'll do it again. This is why I have the extra papers, because then it catches the ink and not my fingers. Oh, actually not too bad, so we're gonna go with that. However, I will get this all over the place if I don't take a moment just to clean it, so. I am weird about that. <laughs> I, I just am. I don't know why. I think my mother did this because every time she'd clean a stamp, she'd go and wash her chamois because no, no. she didn't want it to be dirty. So now I, I've I been. Both sides of the card. Did you do both sides? No, I just did the one. Sorry. I thought you meant about my chamois. Mm -hmm. So now I keep one side clean. It makes me feel like um better because that's what she does. Okay, so here we go with the buffalo check. And then I have a piece of granny apple green. And this one is cut at three and a half by three and a half. So this one, I, um, I can layer these. On um, this one, I just, uh, um, what do I want to call that? Wonkied it up. It says that my video went out, did it? No, you're going. Oh. Okay. 
All right, so anyway, so you can you can do it wonky or you can do it straight. And then, so three and a quarter by three and a half, um, those square. And then this is um, three quarters by four and a quarter. And I went ahead and used the gorgeous grape. How many people saw my card posted? I wonder. Did you guys see it before? Let's see. I'm going to go. I think I'm centered there. I should have tested that first. Okay. There's the halo effect, and that's why I always cut these down. But apparently I didn't do it to this one. So we're going to do it again, and I'm going to be neater. Flip this over. Two sides to paper. That's a good thing for me. And I'm not going to press so hard. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, look, I still got some. I should just cut it down, but I don't want to do it. I'll just be really neat. Awesome. Some of them are so caught up there. Okay, I'm gonna flag, or I'm gonna do a flag on the end with the tailored tag. And I'm gonna slip it in, and I always see where it's at. And then cut off a chunk, like so. So let's see. Is this dried? It's almost dried. I'm going to speed up the process with a little heat gun to my project. Look at the shimmer matches my fingernail polish. Were they really? Shimmer paint, shimmer nails. Yep. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So I'm going to let these guys pick. Do I want to go wonky again? For interest or do I want to be all neat and lined up so you tell me what people are saying wonkier or neat what's that oh I got to give you guys time to wonky. we got a wonky Lined up. Uh, lined up from Joy. Little wonky. Three wonkies. Four wonkies. Yes, it's wonky. Is wonky winning? Wonky's winning. <laughs> okay, wonky. The fact that I got people to say the word wonky is kind of exciting to me. <laughs> okay, so wonky it is. Sorry, Joy. Um, what are you saying? I thought you just started giggling. The shimmer makes it look like the flower actually moves. I know this shimmer is so much fun. Now, can you imagine this for your holiday projects with, um, with, um, like snowflakes or snowmen? I mean, awesome, huh? Okay, so wonky it is. So I'm going to wonky it up. <clears throat> like so. This is why I cut that outside paper just a little bit bigger just because sometimes I don't know and if you cut it the same and you wonky it which is fine but then you lose some of the color as if you were to have it bordered. Okay now this one I really shimmered. I shimmered this one good. I wanted you guys to see it. So I'm just going to use some dimensionals and if I use a bunch of them, so what should we do for the next drawing, Bill? Should we do some project product this time? We'll do a product. How about some rhinestone gems? Oh, get the pink rhinestone gems. Those okay. are the new. Pink ones. You get those out. Yeah. 
Okay, so I just pop it up and center it at the top. And then for this, I am going to trim this down. A little, there we go. Okay, for this one, I'm just gonna glue it on. <clears throat> My voice is giving out, y'all. I really has it been going that long? Water coloring. Well, geez, is everyone asleep? Okay, and then what I did is I used the, um, sorry for throwing things, the True Gentleman buttons, and I just picked out one of these big dark ones because I thought it was a little bit, um, there's different sizes in there, but I felt like this one. Awesome. And a little bit of Baker's twine. That's interesting that that's doing that. Look at that, it's kind of curling on its own. That's cool. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry for the curlies there. And I'm going to use a piece of, what are these called, Madison? Are these glue dots, Madison? Are you watching? Because you know it's all about the glue dots, right? A year or so ago, my daughter was teasing me about glue dots. Okay, and I'm just going to put that on my project like so. So, there we go. Now this one, I sprayed an extra spritz, so I'm hoping that you can see how shimmery that is. And it's the whole paper. Okay, so I, that's those, let me get the other one. And this is the other one here. Okay, let's get this business part out of the way so that um, I can let you guys go on to your night. So, new catalog live today. Yay! The Dashing Along host promotion starts. So if you're interested in doing a workshop, let me know. Um, my host code, if you want to make an order uh, this week, my host code is YCBQYQA9. Um, this is just for the month of August or September. Sorry, I didn't get that in there. September for all orders that are under $150, use that code. Otherwise, there's no need to. You qualify for um, host rewards that way. So um, remember, I'm Piccadilly Stamping Blogspot.com. Um, you can find me here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Um, tell your friends, bring a friend, that'd be great. Weekly specials, also if you place a $50 order between now and Saturday, September 8th, by noon Central Standard Time, you get a free gift from me for your online order using, of course, this host code. I was trying to save paper. The, like, hippie in me didn't see that, but I was trying to save paper, printing these out each week. Um... So you can find my store by just hitting the blue Shop Now button here on Facebook. Um, also, if you are interested in joining my team, I am happy. What? They can't read it? I wonder why it's all wonky. Are you seeing it? Okay, let me see. Yeah, are we still, oh it is, it's weird. I don't know what's going on, so let's, um, let's just get going to the drawing. drawing. Yes, okay, so drum roll. Drum. Now this one, let's see what it is this time. What did you pick? That's what we're gonna win. Okay, Bill picked 
Bill picked. <laughs> Bill pick picked the petal pink rhinestone gems. Okay, these are really pretty. And let's get the thing back out and check it out. Okay, Bill draw. Okay, let's see who I got. Who? It's Mara, not Mara. Mara Lee Ort, which, didn't her name just change? Didn't she just get married? Okay, so tonight's winners, we had three winners. So Mara, you will get these. Um, Laura, you won the glimmer paper. And where's, who is this? Oh, Tanya Gilmore, you won the cards. So I will get these out into the mail for you guys. I just need addresses. All right. Thank you guys for joining me every week. I hope you learned about shimmer paint. Is, was there any other questions from anyone, Bill? Did you what see anything? I, I showed one way to use the shimmer paint. This is my favorite, but again, you can sponge daub it um, to give kind of that mother pearl effect. You can brayer it. Um, so let me know if you guys try it. I would appreciate it. All right. You guys have a super night and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.